So recently, I've been playing a bunch of Killing Floor 2, and much like my Ghost of Tsushima Legends video, I feel like everyone who is everyone everywhere should be playing this absolute gem of a game. I mean, this game came out in 2016, and even nearly 7 years later, it holds up tremendously well. I mean, this game is an absolute masterpiece, and although I've never played Incursion or the first one, it's clear that Killing Floor 2 would be the definitive game of this franchise. It's received extremely high scores from critics and widespread acclaim from players alike. Killing Floor 2 is awesome, but it isn't just the fun weapons, game mode, and blood and gore that makes this game so much fun. And it's not your typical survive the zombie wave video game. It's not a Call of Duty Zombies, it's not your Dead Island, or even the more recent Back for Blood. It's, dare I say, the better version of its kind. First of all, before this video even starts, Hello, I'm Spike to the Plug. Uh, but before this video even starts, let's get one thing out of the way. The creatures you fight in this game are not zombies. They are Zeds. Zombies are dead people that have been reanimated, and Zeds are people that have been experimented on by an in-game corporation called Horzine, I, may I might be pronouncing that wrong, where their failed biotech experiments, the Zeds, are now running rampant through Europe, and now mercenaries and even everyday civilians, aka you, volunteer to rid the streets of these Zeds. And that is legitimately a crash course of the story of Killing Floor 2. And Zeds are in no short supply, trust me. From smallest to largest, we have Sis, Alpha Clots, Slashers, Stalkers, Crawlers, Gorefast, and a level above them, we have Bloats, Sirens, Husk, Edars, and then a level above them, we have our Big Zeds, like our Quarter Pounds, Scrakes, and our Flesh Pounds. And if you manage to survive to the end of the Whores That Be, you'd be greeted by one of five Zed bosses, all coming with their own gimmicks and challenges. The Abomination, King Flesh Pound, Dr. Hans Walter, the Matriarch, and the Patriarch. Taking place in Europe also means fun destinations to kill these Zeds, like Paris. And, well, that, that's pretty much it. But trust me, you're still in Europe. The game also accommodates many player styles by having different perk classes to go hand in hand with the extremely robust experience system. For example, if you choose the Firebug perk and use fire-based weapons, your experience for that perk will increase significantly. I'm fond of the Gunslinger perk, and I know when I say that, all of the elite Killing Floor 2 players are shaking their heads right now. Don't judge me, I like revolvers, okay? But it's the first and only perk I capped out at level 25, and once that happens, you're able to prestige that perk, increasing the effect of all upgrades that come with that class. There are also four levels of difficulty. Normal, Hard, Suicidal, and, wait for it, Hell on Earth. It goes without saying that the higher in difficulty you go, the faster, stronger, and more aggressive these waves become. Funnily enough, when I was trying to record footage of me trying to survive, the hell on earth difficulty, I had absolutely no luck finding anybody. And then, I was paired with a group of people who actually knew what they were doing, so this serves no purpose other than I did better than I thought I would. I will say, I remember when I first played this game, it slowly consumed my life. I played it like every day, and one of the things I first noticed was the overwhelming sense of community involvement when it comes to the love that's put into this game. Tripwire for sure listens to their audience, and the amount of care still put into this game years later is proof of that. Whether you're playing by yourself, with friends, or with random survivors, Killing Floor 2 offers the challenge like no other game in its genre. The maps and level design are so big and unique. The character selection and customization is really fun and helps distinguish yourself from any other player. And most importantly, the game is just fun. Whether you're trying to survive a set number of waves or an endless amount of them, the gameplay loop never gets tiring, as each wave presents new challenges and objectives. I implore anyone who hasn't played this game yet to go pick it up right now. Because not only would you be doing yourself a favor, but get your friends on board too. I honestly had so much fun going back and just surviving waves of Zeds. I had put the game down um, after playing it for months and months on end, and other games would come out and I would play them and beat them, and then I would come back to Killing Floor 2, because it's just fun. I didn't particularly, I didn't grow up with Dead Island like a bunch of you mad did. I played Back for Blood, but I gotta say, I prefer Killing Floor 2 more. I mean, just going back and playing this, it was, kind of it, it was it was really fun it was really fun and, and, and making this video it felt like the right thing you know it, it it 
it is an absolute gem and the scores don't lie um, I think that if you're into this kind of genre anybody would love to play this game uh, it, it has everything from like I said the blood and gore and uh, uh, so many maps it's a no short supply of maps there's there's dozens and dozens of them whereas you know maybe a Call of Duty may have three you cycle from or you know uh, other games of the genre may have six it has so many and the characters you choose from are all either mercenaries or civilians that is legit the story these civilians volunteer to get on the streets and take out these Zeds and you know they do it for Dosh and 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 after each wave you get a set number of cash depending on how well you performed and you go to Trader Paws and you buy guns and you buy ammo and you buy armor to help keep yourself alive longer and and it's up to you and wh wh what you want to be on the field do you want to be like a berserker and just go crazy and you can uh, uh, you get better perks when you wield like handheld weapons like swords and katanas and just other blunt weapons or are you going to be like a field medic and you know just kind of heal everyone and support your team while they're doing their thing now there is like a kind of unspoken rule in the kf2 community where like some perks are frowned upon and some perks are definitely preferred but i think in the grand scheme of things if you and a group of people get together you'd kind of want you kind of want the best of all worlds i mean you can't you'd want to support you'd want a field medic you'd want a gunslinger you want a berserker you want a firebug you want somebody that you want something that accommodates so many different perks to just make the rounds last longer and just to have more fun and that's not to say that if you're a berserker you can't use uh other weapons i think that's what's so cool about it, is that you can be in your main perk but the perk of that perk is using those uh, uh de designated weapons for that class to more upgrade that perk and you can switch between them and then and you know you can go sharpshooter you can go firebug you can go uh, commando and, and and it's all based on your playing style are you more into you know sniper like weapons you know you can you know uh, 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 do stuff from a distance or are you more up close and personal you need shotguns and 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 and, and swords and such it, killing floor 2 has that and they have this really cool feature that you guys might have saw at the beginning of the video called Z time where if cool things just happen that's literally how you while some games may have like a certain like oh like if you get this many kills or if you get um, a certain amount of this or my that no killing force just if, if cool things happen then Z time happens and Z time is that time slows down it gets this really cool black and white effect and you can get like free headshots and and it just slows down time and it slows the Zeds down and that comes with if you get continuous headshots if you get like a mass uh, kill with a grenade or uh, anything that happens cool and that goes for all of your team it affects all of you and I think that's a really cool thing that happens um there's nothing too much more to say other than if you clicked on this video, I assume you're a fan of Killing Floor 2, or if you're not a fan of Killing Floor 2, you wanted to see if you were a fan of Killing Floor 2. So, I implore that you go and visit this game right now, play it, because I'll be playing it. I had a really uh, fun time replaying this game for this video and getting all of this footage. Uh, me dying, me beating bosses, me playing with some amazing random people who knew what they were doing, and it's so good to see that the servers are still active even years later um which is no surprise i mean they're definitely not as full as they used to be but the fact that they're still going strong means that this game uh is fun and people still go back to it and deserve to be praised and i recommend that you go check it out right now after this video which is over i appreciate you guys for hanging around and stopping by i just wanted to talk about killing floor 2 i saw it on my uh, in my library and I just I had to get it out there about how much this game is so fun and the amount of care that is still put into it years later and the amount of updates it still receives to make sure that the game stays fun and stays updated and balanced and that's actually really cool that they decided to do that like I said uh, since I've been playing this game they presented themselves as you know listening to their audience and their fans and they definitely stand by that and it is really fun but I appreciate you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, let me know how you feel about Killing Floor 2 or just Killing Floor as a series down in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Peace.